Love Tuesdays because yeah. from the streets to the studio, Drew Singer is taking us behind the music. He gave Living 808 an exclusive look of how he be combines his love for reggae and R&B. <laughs> We're here at Blue Planet Sound in Kalihi with Drew and James. Drew, brother, thank you for bringing me here today, man. No problem, my man. All right, everyone. So James is a music engineer here at Blue Planet Sound. Now, James, it's like a rocket ship in here, man. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit, right? Okay. <laughs> Give us a little tour of what's going on. So basically, we're working with Drew here, making all the music happen in here, captioning all the good stuff in our control room. Uh, our live room actually okay. down there yes this is our SSL console a lot of good things a hybrid console basically just capturing and putting it into our doll here we're working on logic for this session and we have also all this wonderful gear down on the side all of our compressors and our EQs and all of our preamps really makes all the magic happen and do our best for Drew and stuff like that Drew is it okay if we listen in on some of your rehearsals? Sure. All right. Go. Yeah. When it rains, I can feel your energy. Your energy. Pulling me closer. Feel the enemy, my baby. Drew, so tell me and everybody at home about your process, your procedure when making music. I literally come up with a melody in my head, and from there I, I beatbox a lot. Um, that's where I get the creative side, and then I will re actually record it on my phone, and then from there I will send it to uh, one of my producers here at Blue Planet Sounds, whose name is George Washington. You know, we'll have a group text. He will listen to it. My other producer, Poppy Figs, will listen to it, and then we'll come in here. And then from there, we just grow from there. OK, so when you're not recording music, what other styles of music do you like to listen to? I listen to some Frank. Sometimes I even venture out to listening to some hip hop, you know, Drake, uh, Future, 2 Change. Yeah, those are a few. That's awesome. Now, I know Frank Ocean and Drake, they have a lot of about, you know, love and breakup. Now, what inspires you to create a song? The vibe of it, I guess, and same thing, love. Love is a big topic, so that's number one topic, too. Um, but majority is just, just the vibes in the studio. And um, if I get stuck on something, then I have my producers here, and they will help with their whatever they need to help inside with the song, too, as well. I like that. That's it. That's it. Now, with every rain comes a rainbow, right? Oh, I like what you did. Right? Can you do that? <laughs> now, what's the best part about creating music? Oh, man, just creating it with the homies, you know? Uh, Jules and Figs has been... I, I've known them for about 10-plus years, you know? And just to create music with them, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I went to your CD release party, and they were really cool. I remember meeting them. Now, can you give us a little Living 808 exclusive what song are you working on now? Um, well, this song is called Vibes, okay. and it's featured um, with Miley. What's the inspiration behind that song? Literally a melody. Um, I had it going on in my head, and then I, I sent it over to Jules, and then we actually created from the ground up from instruments from bass to piano to um, getting raindrops behind the track. So the song is about you and your other person and, um, you know, you just feel a vibe, the connection between you two, and, you know, you just want it more and more and more, pretty much. I like that. Now, I feel like a lot of people, especially millennials, can relate to trying to find that somebody. Now, can you do us a favor? Yeah. Can you do a Living 808 exclusive and perform it for everybody here? Oh, I'm so honored. I would love to. Ready? All right, guys. <laughs> 
Oh, sounds good. And we're yeah. going to get the real deal coming up, aren't we? Yeah, they're doing their sound check right now. And oh, goosebumps. You know how I want to do a hyena jam on? I want to do one on John Veneering. Oh. <laughs> because he's always singing. <laughs> he is. He says your name every Where does he take his, you know, a slice of life would be his, like, lotioning his elbows. Oh, no, we don't need to see that. I don't think Hawaii needs to see that whole John's process. John's probably shaking his head at home. I know. Like, we, we should do our own pregame, though, maybe behind the scenes. but <laughs> We should. <laughs> we'll spare you from it from here. But we are going to have Drew Singer's mm -hmm. performance coming up.